To format the text within your worksheet, it's really simplistic, and the reason why you want to do it is to make your worksheet appear more organized. So, for example, I've got this in bold, the title of, well, what I'm working on here in my mini database, which is camping gear. And if I want to be able to make certain areas of it pop to make it look a little bit more in-depth or organized, how about the labels for these columns here for the sales for the months of January, February, March, as well as the labels for the totals and average and the highest and the lowest? So let's go ahead and click and drag and select that range. And as you recall in an earlier training video, to do multiple selections, nonlinear, hold down the control key and then click and drag and then click and drag and if you overshoot remember new to Excel 2019 is still holding down the control key you can deselect a cell and oh that's nice I don't have to go ahead and reselect everything so with everything selected that I want to be able to apply the format to like bold come up here on the home tab to the font group and make it bold you can do it that way or you can go ahead and right click on any of these highlighted areas selections and when you right click you get the mini formatting toolbar, and there you can see B for bold, deselect it, it's no longer in bold. Or you can come up here in the font group and click its expandable dialog box button, click on it. You can change it to a different font, which you could have done from here, but you get some extra spiffies here, like the effects. You can put strike through, superscript, subscript. You've got underline, which you can click on the drop down arrow, single, double. I'm just going to go ahead and go bold and maybe increase the size. You get a preview of it, click OK, and Okay, that's a little bit too much for me. So, if you got a lot of formatting applied to the ranges here and you don't want to go back to deselect that, to go ahead and change the size and, you know, undo everything that you did if you don't have the undo option available, and then the other thing you can do to go ahead and clear the formatting for the selected ranges, as you recall in an earlier training video, is to come over here to the editing group. And it's the eraser. Click on the drop down arrow and say that you just want to clear the formats. Click on it, and we're back to where we started. Next, if you want to be able to change the formatting of the entire worksheet to select everything within the worksheet, well, you can either come up here and click in between the headers A and 1, that little block there with the triangle pointing down to cell A1. Click on it, selects the entire worksheet, and then you can come up here and click on B for bold. Okay, the first click deselects whatever is in bold, and then the second click bolds everything. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo a couple of times. So you can go back to the way it was. You can do it that way, or you can go ahead and click off in a blank area. And I say click off in a blank area for this next example, because if you want to use the shortcut keys, Control A, and I'm in a blank area, it selects the entire worksheet. But if I'm not in a blank area, and I'm in one of these little mini databases, well, according to Excel, it's a mini database, because it's all together. I don't have any gaps, either by rows or by columns. And I do Control A, it just selects that range. Let me do the next one up here for the labels. Control A selects that range. Oh, this is getting fun. Go ahead and do Control A. Oh, the excitement never ends. Let's go ahead and come over here. Control A. So it just selects all the cells that are adjacent to it by row or by column. And that's why it's important if you're going to use the shortcut keys that, well, you click off if you want to select the entire worksheet. Or, better yet, if you want to go ahead and select a range, don't go ahead and click and drag. Oh, how very ordinary. We just learned something new. Go ahead and click in it. Control A. There you go. Go ahead and apply your formatting as we went over. Let me go ahead and select this range here. Or I could have clicked in here and did Control A. But I don't want the ID as part of it. So I can hold down the Control key and deselect it. And I just have this range here. I can go ahead and right click on the range to go down to Format Cells. So I can apply formatting. The Font tab is one of many here. You can also apply alignment to that range, which, how about if we do that? Let me come over here to the orientation, and you can click and drag that little red diamond and go up, and say you want to do it at 45 degrees, and if you don't get it right on 45 degrees, you can come down here in the spin dial box and type in 45, and then go ahead and click OK, and, oh, that looks kind of fancy. Let me click off. Yeah, I'll buy that. Let's go ahead and click and drag to select it, so you can do it that way, or, you can come up here to the alignment group and click its expandable dialog box button. It takes you right to the alignment tab to make your changes if you want to go back to zero, close out, or better yet, you do have that option right here, the orientation. Click on it, and you can do it vertical, rotate, up and down. Sure, why not? Mm, it's not working for me. So let me go ahead and just click on its expandable dialog box button, and let's type in zero, hit enter, and we're back to where we started.
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.